Y'all marriages work. How long you said you been married? I don't, I don't think you said you been married long. Two years, child. Two years. Mm, 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 John, mm, mm. This ain't nothing. <laughs> okay, see how? Y'all, I watch Ayala fix my life all the time. She be having me in tears, right? So it's not about, hear what he's saying, but don't give into it. Because you, you honestly say you feel like he's being selfish, but he's honestly telling you how this situation is making him feel. Like, yo, I already came out here. I ain't got no job. I'm living at my wife's mom's house. Like, this is a lot. Then we add on a kid that ain't even mine. Like, care and help mom out. Don't leave mom, mom by herself. That's, that's a lot. How? Who knows how old your mommy? Mom, mommy said, I'm done raising kids. What is going on? I'm trying to be a helping hand. And it's a lot. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome back to Jay Let's Eat. On tonight's menu, we're going to do a, a good old trending meal that's going around YouTube right now. Okay, I'm, I'm probably late. I ain't even worried about it. But we got rice, sausage, and cucumbers with a good old beloved sauce. Yes, it is. So we are going to jump right into this video. But before we even do that, if you are new, I want you to do me one little favor. Yes, my nail is broken. Don't worry about it. I'm getting it done on Friday. <laughs> I want you to do me one little favor. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and join in on this J family. If you're already a family member, I just want to thank you for clicking on this video and coming to eat with your girl once again. Let's pray and get started. Don't stop looking at my nail. Stop. Okay, cut it. I said I'm getting done. Don't worry about it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the food I'm about to receive. Actually, bless hands, pay to move in. It's not pleased to the body. It's making nourishment to the body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's dig in because I'm hungry. Okay, so I revamped, not revamped, just refurbished, relived, relived, brother, whatever. I added butter and, and broth to this so it can uh, be watery and soupy like. Oh, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I've never had... Mm, mm -hmm. I've never had Be Love sauce with rice, but I have had Chump sauce with rice, and I absolutely love it. See? Mmm. <laughs> Y'all know I'm big ready. I got to use my spoon for my rice. Y'all know I'm big ready. Mm-mm. That's good. I still prefer my chump sauce with my rice. If y'all haven't tried chump sauce with rice, honey, baby, mm -mm. you know, I like to check and make sure I'm recording and my water. Oh, man, chump sauce is good with rice, I promise you. B-Love sauce is bomb with potatoes, but I love chump sauce with rice. Y'all know I be thirsty, thirsty. I don't know how, how mukbangs just be sipping on water. I be gulping that bad boy. Okay, come on, come on, rice. Y'all, eh, let me, shut up, stop, stop talking to eat, y'all. Mm. I love rice. I love starches. Rice, pasta, potatoes. What up, bread? Just good, okay? It's just good. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all can see it. Oh, yeah, okay. It's just good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being real greedy, ain't I? Don't judge me. Y'all, I'm so hungry. Once again, guess what? Happy Monday, first of all, right? But, I got a question. I know I like to do, uh, but I told y'all I wanted to start doing like on dying cute like just discussion topics y'all are sending discussion topics so i had that one discussion topic where the lady uh was pregnant with her twins again had twins and then she was pregnant with twins again 18 years later something like that 17 years later so that was my first discussion topic and i got another one so y'all can email me two letters to j Letters to J at AOL.com for any advice, questions, discussion topics, anything. Your crazy story times. If you got a crazy story time and y'all know I'm extra, I would love to read it to you. All right. So, yeah. Um, we're going to eat a little bit and then we're going to talk. Let me see. Are you supposed to dip the cucumber in here? Y'all, I ain't. Don't judge me. Mm. Mm-mm. 
Oh man. Mm, 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 mm. You see, you see, you gotta have a little discoloration on your sausage. Oh, I don't want it. Okay. Mm. Okay, she said occasion. Okay. AKA burnt. Don't worry about it. Okay. You got to have it. I don't know why. I got to have a little crispies. I got to have a little crispies on my sausage. I know I ain't alone. Can y'all see that? Don't worry about my finger. That's just ratchet. Just a little ratchet finger now, ain't it? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Why it got to be burnt? If you know why it got to be burnt, let us know down below. Why the sausage got to be burnt? Mm. Cajun. Mm -hmm. It just tastes so much better. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. I do have Olive Garden dressing up here for these uh, cucumbers. Let me move that over a little bit. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, All right, let's get into this topic. Because I know a lot of y'all ain't going straight to the end nowhere. So I'm going to eat and stuff my face while I read, okay? And it, and it don't look too long. And I, I haven't read it, so bear with me, all right? It says, hey, Jay, I'm not going to say no names because I don't, I don't know if she didn't want that. But I need advice. I've been married going on two years. We're dealing with a lot right now. We lost basically everything chasing a job out of state that didn't work out for us. Now we're trying to rebuild. That alone is a struggle. But here, here's where the real issue lies. We live with my mom, whom I'm forever grateful for, too, for helping us out. I understand that. She has custody of a little boy that was in a bad situation. It was my mom and I taking care of him before I got married and my husband knew this. He knows how I feel about the child and that I partially, I'm partially responsible for him. Well, he gets extremely upset, upset when I spend time with the little boy. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. If he's home and he said, I'm putting the boy over him. Which is not true. I'm going to call the boy Bill. Okay, we're going to call the boy Bill. Well, Bill ha has siblings. It's four total. My aunt takes care of... What? That my aunt takes care of. So you guys have Bill and auntie has four of the other ones? Okay. Oh, four total. So you have Bill, auntie has three of the other ones. I'm guessing, right? He told me that we are putting our lives on hold, taking care of kids that are not even ours. We basically have our priorities jacked up. Oh, I strongly disagree, and I also feel like he's being hypocrite. He's being a hypocrite because his mom is doing the same with his nephew. Did you tell him that? And before we got married, he was taking care of the nephew too. It's causing a huge wedge in our marriage, and I'm and I'm not happy at all right now. I just don't know what to do. Should I give in to my husband and leave all the responsibility on my mom, or keep helping her even though it's not helping my marriage? I feel like he's not understanding, and it's selfish, and it's a selfish trait in him. And I am being unreasonable. Am I being unreasonable? I am sorry for this that this is so long. It's not. It's not long at all. And I'm not gonna say your name because you ain't tell me to. But. <clears throat> Let's say this. Did you say you were living with your mom? Now we're trying to rebuild. Mm. We live with my mom. Okay. Y'all know I'm sh I'm straight no chaser, and I and and any advice that I give is coming from a place of love. Okay. First of all, y'all live in your mom in your mom's house. Bill is with extra mom's house. You didn't say. You didn't say that Bill was a part of you and your husband's pyramid, like. If you leave, when you leave, you have to take Bill with you. You didn't say that. So I'm assuming that mom has, mom has one and auntie has three. So mom has full custody. I can't remember. Did you say full? Y'all know I'm Dory, okay? So mom has full custody custody, and you're, you're just helping out mom. I think you need to have a conversation with you. I need, I think you need to tell that to your husband. Like, yo, like, first of all, this is a little kid. And if it was me. Or if something happened to our kids, when, when we have kids, something happened to our kids, I would definitely want a family member to be able to take care of them. I think you're being selfish. It's a little boy. Like, calm down. You're going to get this booty at night. Little Bill going to be, oh, sorry, this family channel, my bad. Little Bill going to be handling his business at nighttime. I'm all yours at night. Like, understanding that kids put a damper on marriages, period. 
let's eat, okay? Kids, once kids come into the marriage, you definitely have to find your groove as parents married so that you don't lose that aspect. So I think he might be feeling like, yo, we ain't even got no kids yet, and she already treating me like I'm already on the outside. So find little things to make him feel better. Did that make sense? We have to be the piece of the household. As, as the wife, we have to be the piece of the household. So find things that make your husband happy. Like... Don't give up on Bill. That's that's not that's not the answer. No. Don't give into that. You have to learn how to balance all of those areas. It's a lot. Being a woman is a lot. Okay? <laughs> Being a wife is a lot. Being a mom is a lot. So you just have to find ways to balance it so that he's not feeling left alone. Y'all, I watch Ayala fix my life all the time. She be having me in tears, right? So it's not about, hear what he's saying, but don't give into it. Because you, you honestly say you feel like he's being selfish, but he's honestly telling you how this situation is making him feel. It's a lot on the man that's trying to rebuild for his family. Like, yo, I already done came out here. I ain't got no job. I'm living at my wife's mom's house. Like, this is a lot. Then we add on a kid that ain't even mine. Like, but he already knew that. I have a question, if you don't mind me asking. Was he like this before you guys moved into your mom's house? Like, was this an issue before? Because I honestly don't give into it. It's not a wedge being put into your marriage, but it's just a hill that you have to come up, uh, get over at the time. So often in marriages, we feel as though either this is going to be the, the, the stick that break the camel back, when it's not, you just have to work through it. Y'all marriages work. How long you said you've been married? I don't, I don't think you said you've been married long. Two years. Two years. Mm, 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 John, mm, mm. This ain't nothing. <laughs> okay, see how? This ain't nothing. I promise you it ain't nothing. Y'all, I'll be married for 10 years in October. Praise the Lord. They say you don't get a book for marriage and you don't get a book on how to raise a child. There ain't no pamphlets out there. You got to walk this thing out. So though it might seem hard, you definitely have to put in the work. Nothing about marriage is going to be easy. Nothing about being a parent is going to be easy. And nothing about taking in someone else's child and treating them as your own is going to be easy. Who I just got emotional on the inside. Because you don't even know how you're impacting that child's life. So right now, it might seem like a lot. I had my pastor say, she's the first one to get up in the morning and the last one to go to bed. Because she got to get things done. Like, the house got to get cleaned. Every, everything has to get done, y'all. I ain't there yet. Mm -mm. I love my sleep, okay? <laughs> but you just have to find your balance. To answer your question, you have to find a balance where Bill is still your responsibility, half of your responsibility. Excuse me. You still have to... care and help mom out. Don't leave mom, mom by herself. That's, that's a lot. How? Who knows how old your mommy is? Mom, mommy said, I'm done raising kids. What is going on? I'm trying to be a helping hand. And it's a lot. Okay? Mommy said she done, but she's being generous. God bless her soul. Okay? <laughs> With the family. You gotta love family. Okay? She's being generous. But I honestly think find your balance. Set aside time like, I, right, I'm gonna do this with my mom and Bill. But I got to make sure that my husband still understand that I'm, I'm his helpmate. I'm his rib. Like, I'm still standing right by your side. Like, I'm not behind you. I'm not in front of you. I'm not trying to lead this thing because that's your job. I'm not following you because that ain't my job. My job is to be right next to you, and that's what I'm going to do. But I need you to understand that I'm not going to give up on this little boy. I'm not going to leave my mama out to dry. And you knew this. Like, your mom is doing the same thing. I'm just here to help my mother because I don't want her to do it by herself. What you got? To, what you want me to do to make you feel better? Like what? What can I do to help you out? I understand we be, be, be in hard times right now because I think that's what it is. I think it's just hard times. Like he like, all right now, listen, it's just a lot. What the heck am I supposed to do right now? Then my wife over here with somebody else's kid. Like right? <laughs> every little thing is probably all his. He feel like he carrying the whole weight of the world on his shoulders right now. You be his piece and find out ways. 
to make him feel more loved. You get what I'm saying? You gotta go the extra mile sometimes. And marriage is about compromise. No one wins and no one loses. No one. <laughs> and that is not how the house is ran. No one wins and no one loses. There's no winning team. There's there's compromise. That's it. That's it. The family wins. Okay? No one person wins. This is just a stumbling block or a situation. Not even a stumbling block. This is just a situation that came up right now. Like I said, you're two, two years in. You, you, got, you got a lifetime to go. <laughs> it's going to be hard. Hard road. What is it? Hard hills to climb. Rough rivers to cross. I probably just made it up. Don't worry about it. But it's worth it. Okay? It is worth that. Don't give in. Don't look at it like, oh, Lord, this little boy is driving a wedge. And no. Find your balance. He like watching movies at night. You may be tired. But sit up with him and watch a movie. He like watching basketball. You don't know nothing about it. Sit there with him and watch basketball. He like oodles and noodles. You want rice, chicken, and, and, and broccoli. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Y'all, I promise you, my household will eat pizza every day if I left. They tear down some pizza. Like, that's, that's not a meal. It's not. But you love them. That's it, y'all. If y'all have any advice for her, let it down. Let it what? Write it down below and help her out. Okay? That was a good one. Thank you, sweetheart. For, uh, for texting me. Mm, what's that? Nothing. Fashion over. Fashion over be sending me stuff to my phone. I should be wanting to leave me alone. Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. And I can't swim. I'm just an icon living. I, 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 sorry. Where that come from? Whatever. I'm looking for my necklace. Alright, y'all. I'm full. That was tasty. Email, maybe your questions, advice, discussion topics, your wildest crazy story time. Leave the cussing out, because your girl don't cuss. And I'm liable to exit out. <laughs> I'm liable to exit out the message if you start cussing every other word, okay? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. Y'all, I had a whole other rice container back here. Like a little rice portion, because I didn't want to keep reaching over to get that one. So I'm full now, though. But that was good, y'all. That topic was amazing. God bless the families that be taking care of their family. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm full. Oh, no, was that noise. Y'all, marriage is work. No one wins. It's all about compromise. And it's all about putting in the work. This thing ain't easy. What's, uh, what's that dude on Instagram? He said, it ain't for the week. <laughs> David Arnold, <laughs> he be like, go ahead and get your thing one of these days called the wife. It ain't for the week. Go ahead and get you one of these days called the family. It ain't for the, it ain't, yeah. You got to, you got to be willing to put your work in. Willing to figure out the nicks and crannies of each other. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, and twerk it. If you ever feel like you're losing, or if you ever feel like you're winning, because you did something to make the other person lose, you're going about it the wrong way. Uh, it's all about compromise. All about compromise. We in this thing together. Okay? To death do us part. That's what we said. Okay? But I love y'all so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it's not too much, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Until next time. Bye. I love y'all. Peace. Y'all, I'm full. And she eats more. Don't worry about it.